Hello everybody and welcome back to today's stream. I'm really excited to get started today because today, hopefully, we will be finding out where Mana Marco has taken so, uh, Sai Sahan. That's his name. And I know that uh, Lyris will be quite relieved once we can get him free and out of his clutches. Hi, Eric. How are you today? It's good to see you. Oh, I want to thank I Misfit for the uh, off-stream follow. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, at the end of last stream, uh, we had gone into this home here, Batchel's house, and we ended up going down into a cellar and down in there were some undead and Abner. We ended up speaking to him, not him, but his, you know, vision. And uh, so we, uh, for this episode, are going to uh, hop on back to the harborage and see what the prophet wants to do about this situation because Abner knows where Sai is. And, uh, but he didn't want to tell me. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, kind of teleport over there. I know it costs 68 gold, but um, it saves us some time. Right. Pretty sure that Lyris is going to be coming with us, whatever it is we do. Oh, she's still playing music. Prophet, I have some news. You've returned. What have you found? A cultist used orbs like this one to communicate, and I spoke to Abner Tharn. Abner Tharn shows his face again. Mm -hmm. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. Oh, good. Here you go. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. Okay. What's up? I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Tharn. So, uh, why do you dislike Tharn so much? Not that I like him, but, uh, what's your story with him? Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? Yeah. He did show me a vision, but I want to hear from your side. I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. Just tell me about Abner. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarko's toady. Yeah, that much I figured out. He didn't seem too happy uh, working for the Worm Cult, though. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire. And he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. So, what if he got something out of it? Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. Okay, well, is there anything else you want to talk to me about? I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Okay. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. Alright. Oh, sweet. I got a glyph. Now maybe this one I can use. We'll have to see. Okay, so finished that. 
Now, I know probably as soon as we leave, I'm going to want them to come back, but let's go ahead. Hi, Power. How are you? Happy Thursday. That's right. A good day. Okay. Go ahead and... Um, oh, I got that achievement. That's awesome. Um, I didn't get anything that I really want to use right now. Oh! Well, congratulations on that, Power. Yeah, that's always good. Oh, now we don't have much to do until we get a call back from the Prophet. So we can try to talk to the florist and the grocer and, uh, work on getting uh, that west line further along a little bit. It's like jewelry or something. Yeah. Well, it gives me more weapon damage and more health, so I think that we should use that. Most definitely. Okay, any bets that the uh, Prophet's going to show up here in a couple seconds? fog has lifted, Vestage. The path before us has been revealed. It is both dark and twisted. Uh -oh. Come to the harborage. We have an unexpected guest who demands your presence. Ooh. Maybe that could be... Hmm. I just took the scenic route. Oh, that's rude. Oh my gosh, is that Abner? It is. Well, what do you know? Uh, let's talk to the Prophet first. Don't ask me. I don't like this any more than you do. We have an unexpected guest. I see that. What is he doing here? My attempts to use the Orb of Discourse to locate Saisahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended, and contacted Abner Thun. Is he helping you? He admits that he knows Saisahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. Really? Okay, well, let's hear what he has to say. Um, uh, interesting. Hello, Abner. You wanted to talk to me? We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. What is this about? Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. 
If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahan. Okay, tell me something that I don't know. Uh, I have a feeling that you know where he may be. Of course I do. <laughs> and I might be willing to share that information for a price. I'm listening. If Manny Marco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Really? You're kidding, right? Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a Patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. So, are you going to come to us, or what's your thought on that? Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. Uh -oh. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location. Oh my god. Menemarko's fortress? That sounds dangerous. How can I be sure this isn't some kind of a trick? You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain. You need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan. And I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Hmm. Neither of us has a choice. Your point there. Fan is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. <laughs> How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Than. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. Hmm. You ready, Lyris? Do this. Castle of the Worm. Oh. Ready. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shantytown of Solshriven outside Menemarko's castle. So, how do we get inside? As luck would have it, Menemarko is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. Oh, good. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. Such as? You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. We will find a way in. It's kind of a jerk, you know? I just... Yeah, I don't even want to save him, to be honest. But, you know, that would, that's not nice. Okay, uh, well... Improvise, he mm -hmm. says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. So, are you familiar with this place at all? Any ideas? Suggestions? Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Hey, well, we better get started. Try to be inconspicuous. <laughs> we just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Okay. Well, I don't know how we're gonna do. No. Be sneaky, I suppose. We need to talk to the slaves that we see. You out of here. Hmm. Hello. Hi, Bayakadan. How are you today? Good to see you. Oh, I don't want to injure. Farmer Zar wishes he had his wares. 
Even worms need new claws, yes? Um, I need a way into the castle. Do you happen to know of one? Feed first. That is the <laughs> fastest way in. Ask Cadwell. That crazy bastard seems to know every corner of this place. You better hurry, though. I heard they just chased him into a building near the waterway. Oh, dear. Lyrist. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell yeah. here? I was just gonna say. Around. Okay, so we need to go. We need to try to find him. In a building, maybe straight ahead there. But look at that east. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Uh oh. I think we can, like, sneak. Your snooping around has reached its <laughs> end. Uh... Oh, an afternoon. Come on, Larry. Uh-oh. Been detected. Circle around! What are you doing here? Intruders! Boy, we brought everybody, didn't we? Uh-oh. Get up, get up. Gotta warm up. Say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Yes, yes, yes. So, what are you doing here? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? I, I definitely agree. Um, Lyris and I need to find a way into the castle. Can you help us with that? You better as garters. Why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. We have to rescue Abner. It is complicated. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Mm. Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Yes, the Eric, locked, it is. John, please. But that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there, and we'll see what's what. Okay, so... Thank you. That might be our best chance to get inside. Okay. You know where it is, Lyris, or am I leading the way? You know how well that goes. <laughs> I guess it's me. Alright. Now. Um. Need to go this This turn, huge. Yeah, they did. They really did, which is awesome. Okay, I think this is where we need to be, but I don't I don't see Cadwell. 
and go in. Okay. Okay. Got here as soon as we could. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. So what's next? This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Go on. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep, and you can slip inside. Okay. Um, what do you need for us to do? Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? I am game. Go. Onward! Ha-ha! Well, we need to get you a better weapon. For somebody that claims to need protection, he just goes running in there, doesn't he? He is not afraid of anything. It's a cook pot, isn't it? Don't worry, this will get you inside. I wonder if you can get it. I wonder if it's something you can collect in game. It's gotta be. There's gotta be like a quest or something for it. Okay, well, have to keep your eyes open then. Hopefully, you can get your hands on it because that would be that would be awesome. Oh. Thankfully, there's not a whole lot of guards down here. Be uh, happy about that. This should do it. Good job, Kedwell. Thank you. There you are. Quick as you please. There's even time for tea. <laughs> Pleasure, thing, nothing of it, the merest trifle, truly. 
You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll hey. need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. So, um, what's he doing up there? I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Okay. Why don't you come with us? We could use another hand. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. <laughs> but safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. All right. Well, thank you so much. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. <laughs> Should I be worried? Nah. He's harmless. He still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Oh no, hear me out. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? Up. I'm trying to work here. None. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one in the tower isn't useful anymore. That's not even funny. Get back to work, would you? What? It's true. Lord Manamarco is gonna peel his skin off and make a particularly ugly flesh atronach out of him. Ew. Mark my words. And if you don't help me, I'll make sure you're sewn up right alongside him. Now shut up! Yes, and we need to go do that. You. Hurry up. The worms are on the move. Oh. Well, we're going as quick as we can. That guy's plot. Oh, good. Another projection of Tharn. <laughs> Maybe if we ignore him, he'll go away. I doubt that. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. We've a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. Uh-oh. What's the problem? The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. Okay, so how do we get through? Here's a thought. The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own Atronarch, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. Yo, how do we build a flesh Atronarch? It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through <laughs> it. You'll need some good-sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you. Okay. Back. Oh, lovely. Okay, well, Lears looks like we are going to make something in the lab. Ready? Flash right here. Four of them. Is that a lung? I don't know. I'm not going to look at it too close. Oh. You're not a no. Up here. See any other piece than me? Oh, in here. You would get some meat off this. There we go. I can't imagine how the worms get used to this. 
in parts. So, here, we can, we can take it off of this. That means the body parts won't smell as bad. You got a point there. Parts <laughs> in your pocket. Oh my god, it came to life. Dear me. make me ill but this is getting there come on let's hurry up to the lab Get this stuff This is the lab. Look at all this. Look at all this. Oh. Yes, that's uh. Hmm. Uh. Put everything in the circle and we'll begin. Okay. Very big, is it? Oh well. Now cast <laughs> the ritual from the book. Okay. Go. Very first atronach. Probably my last. make a necromancer of you yet. Hmm. Seems to know what we want him to do. Now. Through the door and to the summit. Go. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess our newfound uh, pet is not with us anymore. The summit. Be gone, insufferable worms. I'm working as fast as I can. There he is. Looks like they've got him under guard. Well, that means we gotta take out these guards. here so we meet in person at long last you look taller in your projection well we're here to get you out uh, per our arrangement and not a moment too soon okay if I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem I'd have thrown myself from the tower so why should we trust you A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Baal. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. What? How? Boy, his... The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him, trying to get him to reveal the Amulet's hiding place. Now he's trying to get to it before we do. Precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manny Marco believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. That sounds bad. What else can you tell me? I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... Uh-oh. Do you feel that? <laughs> Of course, it's not going to be that easy. Oh my god, we got to fight Metamarco. Now, now, Tharn. No telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Lyris. <laughs> your old position at the Foundry is still available. We even give you your own set of unbreakable chains. And you, the thorn in my side, the pebble in my shoe. How strong are you? Shall we test your limits? Drains the energy from most victims, yet you keep fighting. I think my weapon needs to be repaired. Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. How 
much more can you take, I wonder? Well, bring it on, dude. You'll we'll have to see. Attack the Chancellor of the Elder Council. Oh, his power wanes, vestige. Strike him down. Okay, while his attentions are on me. You got it. How dare you betray me, son? Your suffering will be legendary. Here we go. He disappeared. A coward. All right, Abner. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. Why did you help me? Because Marimarco has delusions of godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well, too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a beanstalk. Alright, so what now? We need to get out of here. First things first. We need to get out of here alive. Wait. How do you suggest we do that? We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. Okay. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. Alright, well, let's do it. We don't have much of a choice, do we? Um... You must be the ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. <laughs> mm, I'm shocked your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit, Titanborn. Right, you. Again. Need a way out? Yes, Cadwell, please. I'll have that open in just a moment. Thank you. You gonna come with us? Okay, preserve us. You're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. <laughs> Bit of the old daring do, was it? No matter. You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Good timing. Well, it's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Yes. Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do you, do you think it's wise? Yeah. Well, the world is a terrible place right now. Perhaps it isn't the best way to see it, but come along. It might be good for you. Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Uh, Onward! Let's go. Into the chute, come on! Hey. I get my stuff. Plane. Guess I'm gonna wait. Quickly! I've opened okay. another portal. Hurry! All right. Go. Boy, that was quite the adventure. I hope that uh, Abner is uh, true to his word and he gives us a, a clue where to get to side. 
before we do anything, I am going to finish leveling up. Oh, I got a bag space upgrade. Nice. Alright, and we hit one point. Awesome. And armor. All right. Um, I guess what we're going to do. Oh, racial. You know what? I haven't even looked at those. Reduces the cost of my weapon abilities. Increases stamina. Oh! Well, there we go. Point one and point two. Now, I think this symbol, quote me if I'm wrong, of that weapon down the bottom, I think I need to repair it, right? Needs I need to re-enchant it. Now, I think you do that with uh, these soul gems. I'm not mistaken. I think. Cool. Let's see. Do. Charge it. Okay. Hey, I remembered. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the charges thing until I saw that uh, the weapon that was red. And I thought, uh oh. So we are good to go now. I need to start working on getting some more uh, gold gems. I have only one empty one, though. Yeah, we're going to have to start doing that. Okay, well, I don't think I got anything else that we can do anything with. I guess the bag space upgrade happened. Talk to Abner. My estates, my titles. My own life. It's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear by all the gods, Menemarka will pay dearly for this. So, are you doing all right? Of course. I am Abnathan. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Now then, where were we? Well, you were going to tell us where Sai is. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner, and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. But that's no more information than we know. You don't know where he is? Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. Tricked us. What? You son of a bitch! Ah, are you insane? Get away from me, you Get him, Lyris. troll! Lyris, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarko's toady. Please. Menemarko wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass! Enough! Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the Vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this Who's is Who's about what? I don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, Blind as a newborn kitten. I am sorry I deceived you, Vestige. 
Well, uh, that is uh, a little bit surprising, but not upsetting. You're angry. It is to be expected. So, you are the Emperor. I was once, but no more. My name is Baron Aquilarius. Why didn't you tell me? Why the deception? In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If my mm. ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine alone. So, how can I trust you or Lyris anymore? I mean, I do, I want to, but uh, are there any other surprises? You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestridge. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. Oh, I will uh, offer no resistance. I wouldn't do that. So what do we do now? We must find Sysa Han. Everything depends on that. What do you want me to do? In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's defection, but I welcome it. Manamako fears him, and with good reason. He can help us. I feel certain of it. We got some more goodies. If you hear, um, I apologize for any noises in the background you might hear. My uh, dog injured her tail, so she's got one of those plastic cones around her neck, which is, you know, I don't think there's a dog out there that enjoys wearing one of those, so she, she kind of fights it once in a while. So if you hear her trying to scratch or shake or whatnot, that's pretty much what that's about. <laughs> Not much I can do about it. She's got to wear this thing for a few more days. Yes, the cone of shame. She, uh, but she's being a real trooper. I mean, under the circumstances. Uh, yeah. So we are done with that particular part of the quest. And uh, even if we get met outside now, I think we're going to take a break from the main story and do something else. But let me get our goodies here. So Got a signet of the worm, which is an upgrade. We can get rid of that broken soul. This one. Does that go on the lot that I go on? No, it didn't. This one is, um... Yeah, I'm in a 777. That's magic up. Let's go. Alright, so now are we good? Now we're good. <laughs> yeah, Eric, that's okay. I think we're all on the same page on that. Right. Now, I thought what we might do is work on that quest line that we got from that dog last time. And see where that takes us for a little bit today. Because, to be honest, we don't have that much uh, else to work on unless we try to uh, go to uh, Blackwood or something. But um, I think... I want to stick a little closer to home and do a few things around here. If anybody has a suggestion, though, of something that you would like to see me do or work on, please let me know because, uh, you know, the world is our oyster, so to speak. We can do whatever we want. So let's go ahead and get... We got to go to the stable real quick. I got to get to... got to get my kitty cat... Trained. Put that first.
think we're going to find some of the people we need to speak to. But, let me get her trained before I... My horses are beauties. Look how they hold. These were up to 4%. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh. How many percent? Is, I guess 50, right? I mean, we're going to slowly work our way up. Is that is that what we need to do for that? It's going to take a while. Hear ye, hear ye. Travel through the woods of Dania is highly discouraged at the present time. Okay, so who's over here? We have... Stop Lamont. Now, if we check our quest for this, called Blood and the Crescent Moon, and it said we, you know, we came across that dead guy, and uh, the note appears to be a shopping list. So, this is probably going to give us a hint as to what exactly it, it really is. Why maybe he was killed? Welcome, friend. You can't get better fruits or vegetables anywhere in Daggerfall. I guarantee it. Um, I have this uh, sh shopping list. Do you have three blood oranges? Look, I don't want any trouble. That's a phrase used by the King's Intelligence Network. It means someone's going to get killed. Uh-oh. I don't want to know anything more. Just leave me out of this. The King's Intelligence Network? You know, the eyes and ears of Daggerfall? That's how King Casimir keeps track of what's going on in the city. But you didn't hear about it from me. I have some other phrases to ask about. I said leave me alone. Take your questions and go. I'm not involved in this. This sounds like something that Roy would want to know about. Who's Roy? Damn persistent, aren't you? <laughs> Roy's a friend. I trust him. Hey. Okay. People I don't know, I don't trust. And I don't know you. Well, tell me more about what you do. I sell the best fruits and vegetables in Daggerfall. Lots of people come by, I talk, and I listen. Then I talk to my friends, like Roy. Okay. As for other people, maybe they should decide what they're going to do, now that they know so much. Help! There's a pickpocket on the loose! Uh-oh. You scoundrel! All right, there is uh, another person right there. I am. Hello. Flowers for sale. A posy to gain a sweetheart's favor, perhaps? Not today. I found a body in the water near the mill wheel. He carried this list. Oh, that's that's a pity. Well, now this is a mess. What do you mean? I'm taking a chance here. Sometimes I hear strange things, like what's on that note. Black roses with thorns. I've heard whispers of dark nature magic. That's just the kind of thing Roy, your dead man, would be interested in. Oh, Roy's the dead guy. Uh-oh. So how did Roy become involved in all of it? With the note? I don't know. That's just what Roy did. He would find out things. Daggerfall has many eyes and ears. After all, information is cheaper than war. So now we need to talk to the king. Hmm. Window. Hello, are you the tailor? Interested in a set of new clothes? Something in silk, perhaps? No one ever leaves my shop empty-handed. Interesting, um, 
beard you have there, sir. Um, I'm looking for a cloak with a crescent emblem. I'm afraid those aren't for sale. Oh. The crescent moon is the heraldry of the Casimir family, the rulers of Daggerfall. Why would a dead man write that on a note? Dead? Rugged fellow had a dog? Mm -hmm. That's Roy. Well, that was Roy. I'm sorry he's dead, but I'm not surprised. If you figure out what Roy knew and who killed him, I'm sure someone will reward you. It's also a good way to get yourself killed. So, I discovered the meaning of all the things on this list. Where should I report them? If a crime has been committed, talk to Captain Arison. It's his job to keep the city safe, so he's as good a choice as any. He's usually by the great stairs behind the Mage's Guild. Okay. He likes to keep an eye on the approach to the castle. So, were you and Roy good friends? I guess. I liked Roy. He watched out for the merchants around here. And in exchange, we helped Roy. I listened and let Roy know what people were saying. If we ever told him something important, Roy made sure the right people were informed. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for your information. I'm gonna go talk to this fellow's guard. See what's up. Because somebody killed poor Roy. Okay, I think... Arison. Uh, oh, you're not him. What the heck? An assassin. Uh oh. They know. They know that I'm on to something. Great. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay. Now we for sure need to talk to the guy. Honor and steel. Here. Excuse me, Captain. I need to speak with you about something of important. Welcome to Daggerfall. Move along. No, you don't understand. I have information from Roy. Roy? Where is he? Why did he send a stranger in his place? Roy's dead. I found this note on his body. Dead? Mara's hands. Let me look at that note. It's our code, all right. Someone who uses dark nature magic is planning to assassinate King Casimir. But who's behind this? I need to know more. Well, I just got attacked by an assassin. Do you think perhaps uh, they might be the ones we seek? I can look for more info. Just don't try to play me for a fool. But with Roy dead, I don't seem to have much of a choice. Talk to Grena Grakush at the Rosy Lion Inn. If Roy was onto something, she'll know what to do. Betray us and, well, she'll still know what to do. <laughs> I'll talk to Grena. So, the plot thickens. King. Is the target. Not a good thing. We need to, I guess, do what we can. All right, so we need to get to the end. Certainly real. I married one. 
Okay, we're looking for somebody named Grena. Here. Grena Krakush. Oh, she's in I'm busy. Can't you see I'm drinking here? Captain Arison sent me. And? Why are we talking? Roy uncovered an assassination form. By Malakath. Roy stepped on a nest of snakes this time. One of the vipers is upstairs. Oh. He might know something. I'd confront him, but he knows me. Maybe a stranger like you can get him to talk. Well, okay, yeah, definitely I can do that. Eager. Reminds me of Roy. <laughs> Go upstairs. Find Levesque and rattle his teeth, but don't kill him. We may need him later. Just don't mention me. I'm not an agent of the Crown. I'm just an orc enjoying her ale. I will do what I can. No promises on killing, though. I mean... Okay, so... such a cozy little home oh I already have a cozy home okay where's the steps in didn't know there was an upstairs here oh here camouflage just Oh my god, something's going on right now. Give you time to think. Okay. think I had anything to do with that, do you? Well, I'm willing to overlook all this for some information. That's the second time I've been attacked since I've been here. Agreed. I'll tell you everything I know. Martin Larano hired me. He lives next door to the inn, in the large manor house. I'm a mason, you see. Martin wanted me to make him a map of the tunnels beneath Daggerfall. What tunnels? The secret ones that lead to the castle. But I don't know what he's planning, I swear. Mm -hmm. I just needed the gold. I've got my own troubles back in Wayrest. Alright, well stay here. I will uh, relay your infamy. I want to thank you guys for coming today. I'm just really kind of not sure. I have to, I haven't run across this before. And I really, really uh, think that I may have to tweak my settings. It hasn't happened in any of the other streams. So uh, I don't know what's going on.